needs to hear it, but I'm going to have the best names. Yip Yap, Flip Yap, Toad Flip, Jip Lick, Sip Sack. I mean, come on, how great are those? Hey, ah, uh, if anybody knows the Battle.net Wi-Fi password, I would be eternally grateful. That is all. Man, am I depressed. But hey, just because we lost Eshram, Hyperius, Tavares, Tremonius, Jagga, the Harbinger, a bunch of chieftains, scores of lieutenants, tons of our greatest warriors, most of our best hardware, and almost all of our food reserves doesn't mean... Wait, what was I talking about? Man, I'm depressed. It's, um, another beautiful day on set of Halo. Sun shining, bird things are bird singing, and the banished are totally, completely, absolutely going to... Ah, forget it. We're not so different, are we? Heck, in another place, another time, I would have been your daddy. <laughs> I know, I know the mic is on and I don't care. <laughs> hey, we got a Craig out Big doubts. That Master Chief, he keeps winning. 
our forces keep dying, and Eshram's still going on about victory this, brotherhood that, blue hoo hoo, Atriox is dead like he's, you know. Wait, what? You mean the Micathon? Look, I don't know who moved this big old death hoop, but if you could please put it back where it belongs, that'd be great. I can't order deliveries from premium gas vendors if I don't know my own friggin' address. What the heck am I supposed to tell them? I live somewhere? You ever wonder what a shaved brute looks like? Not until I mentioned it, right? Try and get that image out of your head, humans. Clipnub here. Signed up in Major to report, just taking some me time to reflect on how hopeless and screwed you are. <sighs> Yeah, that's nice. I'm hearing a lot of complaints from my fellow ungoy out there about rough treatment from your brute superiors. To you, my friends, I say this. <laughs> Better you than me, losers! Got some bad news for you humans. That hero of yours, he's palling around with a copy of Cortana. Yeah, yeah. That Cortana, you know, the one that turned against humanity? Think he's still on your side? Think he won't bail on you for his stupid blue lady? You're wrong! The Chief's back! So what? We beat him before! What's different this time? The grapple hook? Oh, sure! That'll end the war! Right! Okay, yeah, uh-huh! He's just one guy! One guy! When has one guy ever made a difference? Besides, you know, uh, all the times he... Uh, never mind. Shut up. Abandon all hope, etc. Fun fact. Chief rhymes with grief. I don't really have anything to add to that, but, you know, it sure makes you think, right? Why can't we kill the Chief? It's like he's psychic or something. Wait, I... Got it. We just gotta plug the controller into player two. Well, what the hell do you mean there's no plug? Why aren't you losers furious with the Master Chief? Why put your trust in a guy that blew it so badly? All that misery you've endured, you can lay it all right at his feet. Someone out there is vandalizing my communication towers. Why would you do such a thing? Why would you want to spoil this oh-so-special relationship we've built over these six months? I want you to know, I'm hurt. Now knock it off. Hey, Spartan, look, I know you think you've won and all, but, uh, joke's on you. That wasn't Eshram. That was four grunts in a brute suit. So, yeah, we're still king of the ring. There's no way we lose to a guy who can't get over his smartwatch deciding that she could do better running the galaxy on her own. Hey, Spartan, you listening? How long do you think that luck of yours is gonna last? It's gonna run out, and when it does, you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay big. Hey, Master Chief, you out there? Or are you cowering in a cave like what's left of your idiot species on this ring? You already failed once, and it cost your kind everything. Do you really want to go for round two? Breaking news! We found the Master Chief, captured him, peeled the armor from his stupid bones, and killed him dead. His last words were... Hang on, let me check, check my notes here. <clears throat> All hope is lost. Humanity is doomed. Lay down your weapons. I am Master Chief. Whew! Harrowing words. You should listen to him. Here is a poem for the Master Chief. Your blood is red. Your teammates blue. Your parents don't remember you. The end. You must think this is just some big dumb game, huh? Just because you blew up our battleship and gave us a bunch of trouble? Ha! <laughs> You're the one that's gonna be sorry, Spartan. Listen, you're fools to pin your hopes on the Master Chief. The guy's a mess. 
He's got a habit of solving every problem he meets with violence. And while that's pretty cool, it's not the mark of a stable mind. And neither is mumbling at little blue people that live in your head. But pick a better hero. I nominate me. So, so wait a minute. I just found out that the Master Chief's name is John. John? John? We're afraid of a guy named John? Are you kidding me? Spartan, don't look now, but three cloaked elites are behind you. Have fun dying. <laughs> Made you look. <sighs> hey, uh, while I got your attention, do you need a sidekick or something? I'm available. I'm actually starting to feel sorry for the big green dork. I mean, he got his ass kicked in front of everybody. Most of his friends are dead. His own pets hate him. I don't know if he has pets, but if he does, they definitely hate him. And most tragic of all, his worst days and his greatest failures are still ahead of him. Ah, uh, I hate this. We were supposed to win, not you. You always get to win. Remember the first space ring? The Spartan blows it up, you win. Then the big flowery space base? You win. Ancient warrior mummy in the hollowed out planet thing? You win again. Ah, uh, so stupid. You humans think the chief is here for you? Please, since when has he cared about anything except his stupid blue pal? He got what he came for. Don't be surprised when he abandons you. You may have heard rumors of a Spartan emerging from the bowels of the ring. Those rumors are entirely false. Spartans are extinct thanks to the hand of Atriox. So stop spreading human lies. I don't want to hear one more of you stupid humans crowing about the Master Chief. Atriox defeated him with a flick of his wrist. How much of a fight do you think he's going to put up this time around? In conclusion, hope is a meaningless waste of time. And if you want proof of that, ask all your dead pals. Hey, Chief, where's Blue Team? Don't you know? Pretty cold just leaving your siblings behind like that. You killed them. All of them. All the best and brightest of the banished. Even gentle Brickwad. Attention, humans! 
you're all stunningly, blindingly stupid. That's all. Carry on. We're watching every hour of every day. And the only reason you're still alive is because it's fun as heck to watch you struggle for every moment of your continued existence. It's like, uh, what do you humans call it? TV. It's a lot like TV. And your suffering is our favorite show. I thought I'd pretty much plumb the depths of my hatred of humans, but then I had a supremely crappy day. And, oh, what's this? All the way at the bottom of my heart. Even more hatred for humans. It was there the whole time. I hate you so much. I yearn for your ex. smelling something funny on the air, that would be the huge pile of seized human provisions, medical supplies, personal effects, armor, and food we just torched. You didn't need all that crap, right? How much does it hurt, knowing how hard you failed? All the lives lost due to your incompetence. I bet it keeps you up at night. I bet it gnaws at your guts. And it should. You think all this resistance is helping? You're only making us mad. And that's only going to make it hurt more when we finally get our angry mitts on you. You think I'm joking? Screw around and find out. In claiming Zeta Halo, the Banished have done what the Covenant couldn't. That's right, the Covenant, which time after time pushed you idiots to the brink of extinction, are nothing compared to us. We're like nothing you've ever seen. When you're sitting there asking, why me? Remember that you came to set a halo looking for a fight. All we did was give you one. <sighs> Gosh, it's been a long day. Ah, watching you pathetic nerds beg for your lives. Ooh, I'm beat. What are you UNSC dorks up to? Ah, running and screaming. Ah, thought so. Just another day in paradise, huh? Attention, all UNSC troops. Just wanted you to know that the unspoiled rations you miraculously discovered last week were given some extra special seasonings by my good pal, Jip Lick. Hope they were tasty. Listen up, humans. Got any friends at Gila Squad? You're gonna wanna check up on them. Or what's left of them, anyway. We left them in a nice big crater. Reminder. Resistance is hazardous to your health because it makes us really, really angry. If you humans are praying for the moment that backup finally arrives, remember, since Zeta Halo warped, they have no idea where to even start looking for you. You're alone, and you're gonna stay that way. Oh boy, just imagine. All that worthless human culture and industry that'll go up in flames when we activate this ring. It'll be like it never existed at all. And there'll be nobody alive to mourn the loss. Anyway, have a great day. Hey, soft skins. I know you're probably thinking of all your friends back home. So we just wanted to let you know that we transmitted a bunch of messages back to all your buddies on Earth. And we told them you were all dead. Dead and smelly. Everyone, including your buddies, had themselves a real hearty chuckle. To our human friends still clinging to life on this ring, we know where you are, we know how to find you, and we'll destroy every last one of you. So, it's time to get your affairs in order. I'm not sure what affairs you have left other than uh, hiding in caves and eating moss, but, you know, get it sorted. Give it up, humans. Do you know how many of you have died since the infinity? No need to check the mass graves, I got the numbers right here. It's a metric crap load, and it's growing by the hour. When this is all over, and the last of you are finally dead, I'm sure gonna miss this job. We had a lot of fun together. You running and screaming, and me laughing at your agony. <laughs> it's been great. Thanks for being a part of it. We won't lose. We can't lose. This ring is ours. Anybody who says 
different is lying. Now throw down your weapons and give up this stupid fight. Mighty Esherums finally had enough of what's left of you idiots. He's dispatching patrols around the clock. Search parties crawling over every inch of the ring. The hunt begins. Better start running! Feeling emboldened by the return of your hero, humans? Great! We can't wait to see that hope drain from your eyes right before you breathe your last! We hunted every last Spartan down, strung them up by their guts, and whacked the crap out of them with clubs in honor of that most sacred human tradition, the piñata! And if all the Spartans are dead, what chance do you think you stand? That's right, less than zero. <sighs> I've been training my whole life to be the very best at demoralizing the hell out of you humans. I even majored in annoyance and vexation at the Academy. So, trust me, if you're looking for reasons to give up, you're in good hands. Humanity sucks! The banished rules! You slug muffins will never have control of this ring, no matter how many of our leaders you slaughter. It's been something like six months since you morons got here. That's a long time. Like, your families have all moved on kind of time. Uh, food for thought. If it wasn't clear yet how utterly, bafflingly doomed you all are, it sure will be soon. Our control of this ring is absolute and getting absoluter every hour. It's time to lay down those weapons, friends. A few days of chaos ain't changing a damn thing, humans. You're all still doomed, we're still winning, and in the very, very, very near future, we're locking this ring down. For the banish! Ah, boy, howdy. It's been a long six months of killing humans on this ring. But if you think we're tired of it, you sure don't know the banished. Because if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And we love killing humans, just like brutes love eating them and killing them. You knuckleheads act like the banished have never been on the ropes before. We've overcome a lot, and we ain't going anywhere. Latest reports from the war front. Tons of you died like sniveling cowards, and tons of us stood over your corpses and gloated about it. Just another day in paradise. The end is near. You know this ring is special, right? You want to know what it can do? Because we're going to show you and every stupid human you've ever known. Uh, humans, just curious, but... How much is the UNSC paying you to fight us? I'm hoping it's a lot, because otherwise, somebody's getting a really raw deal. And hint, it ain't us. Attention, humans. Hope is brain poison. Remember that the next time you get excited about seeing another sunrise. Don't forget about those odds. Dwindling every day. The Banished is more than just a collection of unstoppable heroes. We got allies. Important, powerful allies. And if you thought these last six months were bad, huh, what comes next, it's gonna blow your minds out of your stupid heads. Be advised, humans, that we've detected a functioning pelican zooming about the ring, and our AA guns are very excited about shooting it down. The last Spartan is dead, and he died like a sniveling coward. His last wish was that you would all just give up to stop prolonging what is, by now, an absolute certainty. Why not honor him by turning yourself in? What you got left in the tank, human? Did you run it on fumes? How much longer do you think you can go? Uh, if you haven't heard, your old home away from home, that ratty ship, the Mortal Reverie, is now a banished stronghold. We scrubbed the stink off the walls and threw out most of your stuff. So, if you're looking for a lost knick-knack or misplaced comrade, check the pile of burning garbage. Can't miss it. This just in. The humans are extremely excited that they've conquered some tiny insignificant island when us banished have all the rest of the ring to ourselves. Congratulations, losers. You did it. There's not many of you left on this ring, but don't worry. These little pep talks from yours truly will continue until every last one of you is dead. 
chance to try harder? Welcome to day 160. No, wait, 70? Ah, well, somewhere around month six of your miserable existence on Zena Halo. Honestly, who knows how long it's been anymore? Time flies when you're having fun, and slaughtering humans is about as fun as it gets. So, you may have heard that we've lost a number of senior officers lately, and, well, yes, there are some vacancies opening up among the Blood Stars. It's only because those guys were dumb and weak, while our remaining guys are most certainly not dumb and weak. Thanks for culling our dead weight, humans. Uh, regrettable news, it appears the top ranks of banished warriors have, uh, thinned considerably. You may recall my thanking you humans for culling our dead weight. I now wish to retract that statement. Stop culling our dead weight, okay? No more culling. Well, now you've gone and done it, humans. Just got a report from Esherim, and he is not happy with you. Not that there's anything wrong on our end, though. Everything's fine. We're winning. We've already won. Believe me or die. The banished are within reach of total victory, humans. Our time together will soon come to an end. But we'll make sure to etch try their best on humanity's tombstone right before we launch it into the nearest sun. Ah, uh, we're picking up a lot of you humans blathering on the comms about how it's all gonna turn around at the last minute just because some big green nobody finally came out of hiding. That's great! Keep those hopes up. It'll be funnier when we crush them. By our count, human casualties, injuries, and capitulations are skyrocketing. One of my math guys crunched the numbers, and at the current rate, a human dies on this ring every eight minutes. Tick-tock, humans. When's your number coming up? The higher-ups ask me for new ways to psychologically torture you humans. Oh, I thought I'd try this. <laughs> you 
to stare at the sky, gripped by fear of the unknown. You think the Spartans are gonna save you? Think again, they're dead. All of them. Every one of those towering dorks that set foot on this ring has been eliminated. There's no cavalry riding in, humans. No savior waiting in the wings. Just attrition, followed by submission, followed by... Yep, you guessed it, death. At the sound of the tone, all humans on the ring will lay down their arms and give up. Ding! Did it work? I said ding, you idiot! A uh, question for you, Softskins. What are you even doing here? What did the UNSC ever do for you, except uh, throw you screaming into the gaping maw of death time after time? Is that leadership you can trust? Heck no! Join the banished! No humans have joined yet, but hey, first time for everything! Let's take a moment to reflect on all the things you'll never experience again. Warm beds, hot showers, regular meals, the affections of your friends and family, safety, and general happiness. All of it now, a distant memory. Attention humans, I regret to inform you that everything you've seen, heard, and experienced in the past 24 hours of this war was entirely imaginary. Here, in the real world, your goose remains utterly, totally cooked. This is verifiably, demonstrably true. Please believe me. Okay, humans, hear me out. What if we were to try and work together? Your guns, my gas, we'd be unstoppable. I have three words for you. Og, Mented, Ungoy. We've been skinning your sorry behinds and wearing them as hats for months. But sure, go ahead and celebrate your big win over one war chief and his weirdo friend. Ain't gonna bring back all your dead friends, is it? So, the one good thing about humans thinking you won the battle is that more of you will think it's safe to come out of hiding. And then when you do, bang, your head goes pop and the children cheer. You think you've won. You think you've won? You ain't won squat. We'll fight until the last of us is ground into paste. That being said, I hear you humans got a thing for clemency and forgiveness. So, if you're doling any of that out, just give me a holler. Look, we all said some stuff we didn't mean. You know, about slaughtering humans and the like. But there's no reason to take it out on every uh, more or less innocent grunt you come across, okay? <laughs> just, just remember that. Look up in the sky, humans. See all those beautiful banished ships hanging silently like guillotines over your heads? We're not going anywhere. Zeta Halo is now our home. Attention, Corporal Leah Rodriguez of Bluebell Squad. We intercepted your transmission back to Earth, and we agree. You have very little chance of seeing your home again, but we sure did appreciate all that whining and crying you were doing. <laughs> Keep it up. The Brutes cleared out a cave and found one of your diaries. I got notes. First, all your whining about your dumb regrets in the face of certain death? Uh, cliche. Try harder. Second, your handwriting, it makes you look weak. And third, nobody but me will ever read it. So, 100% of your audience is laughing at your pain. Attention, Barracuda Squad. Barracuda Squad? That's a stupid name. Just want you to know that we've still got your commander. I mean, he's dead. But we do still have him, and he's a lot of fun. Attention, attention, human private Eleanor Klein. Please come and pick up this picture of your dumb kids from the nearest outpost. I'm guessing it's uh, pretty important, and wait, wait, wait. I'm being told that we plucked it off your dead body, so never mind. Carry on, humans. Dear friends and colleagues of PFC Theodore Higgins, the idiot who gallivanted his way into the horn of abolition several days ago. We captured old Teddy, beat the tar out of him, and sent him packing to the tower for processing and interrogation. If you'd like to see him again, please report to the tower. Jacklock would be more than happy to welcome slash torture
capture you. Hey, human, got some advice for you. That nobody gets left behind stuff, it's gonna get you killed. Take Merchant Squad, for example. We caught three of them, so the other eight decided to be heroes. Guess what happened? That's right, 11 dead idiots. Be smart, save yourselves. If you're looking for Riddle Squad, we've got them all tied up in an undisclosed bunker. Hey, uh, speaking of riddles, I, I got a good one for you. A hunter is dropped into an undisclosed bunker stuffed with human prisoners. Who gets that alive? The answer is the hunter. I'm not great at riddles, I'll admit that. This next song goes out to the surviving members of Vantage Squad. Wait, what? There aren't any? Okay, so a sad song then. Then I hey, hey, anybody got a trombone? You know, so we can do the womp womp thing? No? No? Ah, song's canceled. In honor of fallen Spartans, Bonita Stone, Theodore Sorrell, and Petrana Makovich, we offer the following song of heartfelt remembrance. <laughs> Us, 
No, we have no idea what the skimmers are, and yes, we probably should, but they're on our side and are pretty good at killing humans, so who cares? Now stop asking. Keep fighting, Banished. I quote the mighty Atriox. Humans are dumb and weak. If you lose to them, I'll come back from the dead and kill you myself. End quote. All banished forces. Any intel on the whereabouts of the Master Chief will be rewarded handsomely, followed by intense questioning as to why you didn't do anything about it. If you've got something to report, send it up the chain or else. Hey, banished, listen up. Just because we won this war doesn't mean you can kick back and relax. There's lots of work to do. Humans to hunt, ancient technology to unearth, no slouching. Local units are uh, happy to report that Esherim successfully killed the Spartan. He's deader than the prophet of sacrilege, or whatever he was called. Anyway, carry on. Nothing to worry about. I know that Esherim wants a nice big legendary fight to top off a proud career, but I think he'd also appreciate it if you morons would get your axe together and kill the Master Chief. You losers are sure making it difficult to stay positive. Every day the Master Chief survives makes us look even more incompetent. End this now! Orders from the War Chief. Anybody caught looking, even kind of morose, will be slingshot into space. So, turn those frowns upside down or be killed. All of those stupid fobs are now back in UNSC hands. Just letting you know, when Eshram finds out and goes berserk, this is on you. And by you, I mean everybody who isn't me. The following is a friendly reminder from Banished Food Services. Dead enemies aren't just fun to play with, they're also highly nutritious.
them with the nearest human. With your fist. Hey! Anybody watch us shoot that ratty old pelican out of the sky? I'm delighted to report that the Master Chief died in the crash like a weak little stooge. A job well done, Banished. Listen up, pukes. A spire has fallen. So what? We've got tons of those things all over the ring, making this weapon whole again. And making good progress, too. That power belongs to the Banished. And one spire ain't gonna make a bit of difference. You hear me? We ain't licked yet. We just need a new leader. Any takers? I'm not gonna volunteer for the job, but if I was nominated, well, I'd consider it. Just saying. Warriors, 
The humans killed the fake Escheron body double monkey clone we left out for them to find. Activate surprise trap attack now. I'm serious. Look, I'll just say it. Escherum was going to keel over any second anyway. Sure, Chief did him in, but come on, that's like beating your grandpa to death, which, while admirable, is something anybody could do. Uh, we got tired of piling up all your decrepit warthogs as towering monuments to your failure, so we found a better use for them. The Forge of Tish is melting them down for scrap, and the Armory of Reckoning is turning that scrap into bullets. So, next time you get shot, know that you humans played a vital role in making that possible. A little update from Banished R&D. Not only does this ring belong to us, our sciency types are learning all kinds of neat stuff about it over at Annex Ridge. We wield the biggest, nastiest gun in the universe, and soon we might just learn how to shoot the dang thing. Glory to the banished! Good news, doomed humans. Our primary communications array, the Horn of Abolition, just got a big upgrade. We can hear every transmission you send, every whiny report of your casualties, every pathetic cry for help. Key takeaways, you're making it easier to find you, and your voices sound real stupid. Attention, scattered remnants of the UNSC. Look to your left, now look to your right. Anybody missing? There's a good chance that your absent comrades have been taken to the redoubt of Sundering and are being brutally interrogated as we speak. Imagine the secrets spilling out of them, not to mention all the other stuff. To the three Ungoy sleeping on the job at the Forge of Tish. Wake up! You're gonna give our kind a bad name. Well, a worse name anyway. Hey, Chief, if you're listening and you're thinking about taking down another tower, wait, okay? <laughs> just, just wait for, for a sec. Because if you take all these towers out, I'm out of a job. And, and if I'm no use to whatever Harry so-and-so takes over for Eshram, I'm, I'm dead. 